We want to bring in senior White House correspondent Gabe Gutierrez. Gabe, you were listening to this at the same time we were. What stood out to you? What are some of the highlights in his messaging on Israel as well? Uh, hi there, Vicky. Good morning. Well, yes, as you mentioned, the president taking a victory lap of sorts and, and are saying that this was, quote, a good day for world peace. That's how he started this remarks. And this comes after intense negotiations over the past few months, Vicky. And, you know, we're learning a little bit more about those behind the scenes negotiations where the Biden administration was deeply involved with congressional leaders trying to get this over the finish line. Now, it was back in October, Vicky, that the president delivered that promise time address here at the White House really making the case for a national security package. Well, it took several months, but finally this is the result. And we're learning that he really reached out to Speaker Mike Johnson over the last few weeks and even directed his team not to antagonize uh, Speaker Johnson. And one point that I did notice, Vicky, uh, the president also brought up the issue of this uh, package not including border security. Of course, you'll recall that in the first supplemental aid request that the Biden administration put forward, there was a request for border security. There was even a bipartisan border security bill uh, that made it past the Senate, but the House was dead set against it, and it uh, and uh, former President Trump tanked it essentially uh, by urging Republicans to vote against it. I found it interesting that President Biden really didn't go after Republicans much. He really in these remarks, thanked Speaker Johnson for getting what he was able to over the finish line. And of course, he made the case once again to the, uh, to the American people of just how important this equipment, this humanitarian aid and these munitions uh, are to Ukraine, but also uh, to Israel. Uh, one thing that did not come up in this um, in this uh, in these remarks, uh, Vicky, you alluded to it, uh, the um, provision that would require the the sale of TikTok uh, within the next nine months to a year. The president did not mention that. Uh, we heard some of the questions that were asked to uh, to him from uh, reporters. That question's certain to come up. But as you just heard, the president walked away without answering any more questions. He's now heading to a union event here in Washington, where he's expected to pick up an endorsement, Vicky. It, Gabe Morgan here. It was interesting how you, you mentioned and noted that President Biden didn't come after Republicans, that he actually mm -hmm. thanked House Speaker Mike Johnson. It was also interesting hearing him really strike this tone of defiance, where he reminded the country, we are the indispensable indispensable nation. We are the ones who set policy and, and determine and don't react. But it's also interesting how long it took us to get here, because the White House first sent a request for the security package all the way back in October. So what are congressional leaders who he had to work with ultimately say Saying this morning, what impact has this delay essentially had on Ukraine? Well, look, it's been frustrating for the Biden administration, which has said over and over again that Republicans needed uh, to come together and be able to pass this national security uh, package. But uh, as I laid out, you know, this this kept going for several months. It was only in the last several weeks that Speaker Mike Johnson uh, changed his mind, essentially, and brought this vote to a floor. Now, we're hearing from sources on Capitol Hill that, you know, the speaker was privy to classified briefings that um, and other lawmakers who really stress the need for this. And also, you remember, Morgan, the urgency of this has really been ramped up in the last several weeks. We've been hearing those reports from the front line in Ukraine that has essentially been saying that Ukraine is losing this war and will lose this war if um, this aid does not go through Congress. So, yes, after several months of these intense negotiations, taking the border security, the controversial border security portion out of it, Speaker Mike Johnson was able to get it over the finish. Line. All right. Really important uh, reporting there. Gabe Gutierrez joining us from his post there at the White House. Gabe, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.